climate change. Um, that's all right. That's all right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. <coughs> For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. That's right. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. For the body is not one member, but many. Amen. 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 So it's important to understand um, how the structure was set up. And if we go back to Moses and we see that, you know, here's Moses. Did he do the job by himself with no. all those people? No. Of course not. He, there had to be order and structure. And there had to be team captains and leaders over certain areas to keep everything going in the same direction. Amen. If they were going to make it through the Red Sea and get across the Red Sea to the Promised Land, they had to listen and they had to take instruction to get into the, the way that God was trying to lead them. Amen? Amen. So we must understand that. So I'll just read this part. The human body is many parts, but many parts make up one whole body. Yes. So it is with the body of Christ. Some of us are Jews, Gentiles, slaves, some are free, but we've all been baptized into one, one. body. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. By one spirit, and we share the same spirit. Yes. Yeah. So it's important to focus on that. Amen? Amen. So... It says, if the foot says, I'm not part of the body because I'm not of the hand, does not make it any less part of the body. Did you hear that part? Amen. It says right here, if the foot says, I am not part of the body because I'm not the hand, does that make it any less part of the body? No. no. Because I've learned in my own life that when injury ever came to my body, and I am probably the worst klutz ever, if there's an accident waiting to happen, then I sometimes am one of those people that can step right into that situation that I remember one time, um, somebody said to me, um, it was actually one of my kids said to me, you know, if you keep going on that, um, tripping into these hazards, mom, you're going to end up, we're going to put a body cast on you just to protect you. Imagine it. Yeah. Having kids like that saying something, something like that, right? Yeah. Can you imagine? So we have to understand the importance of that. Amen. And does it make any less part of the body? If the ear says, I am not part of the body because I am not the eye, would that make it any less part of the body? No. Mm. Now think about when... You know, like, just think about yourself when you had an injury to your body and maybe you are married, let's say in a marriage situation or there's a family situation in your home and an injury came and a sprained foot happened and you couldn't get up and you were hobbling around. What happened? What happened? You said you can't pick anything and help. Right. Sure. Right. So you see, the word, the work, the body must work together. Yes. Right. Amen. So when one's down, we don't kick them in the ditch. Amen. We have to pull them up and out and hold them up and get them through that time. And it's okay, like when we see that happen. Sure. It, it happens. Amen. Because right. things in life come along and it happens. But we've got to right. reach out and help that part of the body get healed and get their strength about them and get them to rise up to go forward. Amen? Amen. But if our bodies have many parts and God has put each of our part where he wants it, how strange a body would be if it only had one part. Yes, sure. huh? yeah. Imagine if I was a giant eyeball sitting here looking at me. <laughs> wow, that's true. I would be focused, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I got it. <laughs> Jillian, where is she? 
Yeah. She's always got those little puns. I've been trying to really come at her, you know. Oh, well, you've been doing really well. <laughs> <laughs> you wish you I see all that you're doing. And if there are many parts but only one body, the eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. Amen. Amen. Right. Like, can you imagine going around and you're getting up in the morning and you go to pick up your coffee and say, off. I don't need you to pick up my coffee. I'm going to drink you on my own. Now, I'm really being visual here tonight because I really want us to understand the importance Amen. of working together, Amen. but also having leadership and why the leadership is amongst us so that we we know the direction where we're going. And something yes. that I have understood since I have come here is one thing I so desire is vision. Praise yes. God. Amen. There must be Amen. vision because if there is no vision, the people will perish. Amen. And I do not see perishing happening. Hallelujah. 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 I don't see Amen. that. I see goals and visions Amen. coming forth, and I see people starting to get out of their yes. comfort zone, yes. and they're starting to see Amen. where God Hallelujah. is calling them to not be afraid to step out and do that calling that God has placed Amen. upon you. Amen. 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 I don't need you. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. <laughs> I just love this. It's so funny when you think about it. Yeah. In fact, some parts of the body that may seem the weakest and the least important are actually the most necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right? Hallelujah. Like even down to an eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Look. <laughs> right? Right down to the eyebrows. Imagine. <laughs> and the parts we regret as less honorable are those we clothe with the greatest care. Praise God. Yeah. So we carefully protect those parts that we should not be seen, while the more honorable parts do not require the, require the special care. So God has put together this body in such an extra honor and care and given those parts to have less dignity. That makes for harmony amongst the members so that all the members care for each other. Praise the Lord. Amen. Like, I care for you and I hope that you would care for Amen. me just as much. Praise God. Praise God. Because when I look at you, I want to look at you with passion and compassion in my heart. And always understand and be there, even though I may not understand all the issues and dynamics that you are going through, I still want to forbear. Yes. Right? Forbearing one another. Amen. Being there. Yes. Right? Amen. Lifting you up, encouraging you. Helping you to rise above self-esteem and step out of where you're at. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. And if the other part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. And if the part is honored, all the parts are glad. Amen. Amen. Now, don't you ever notice that? That when somebody gets the Holy Ghost and they're baptized in Jesus' name, do you all do do you see us walking around like this? Oh, another baptism. <laughs> oh man. Oh, they got the Holy Ghost. Okay, we don't. We, there's a victory and a shout in the camp. And we're so excited because we are one family and members together and we rejoice together. Yes, yes, but yes, here's yes. the thing. When something sudden happens within our family structure mm -hmm. in this body, it affects all of yes, us. Yes. So when one grieves, we all grieve. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Amen. When one is hungry, we want to fill the need. Sure. Or when somebody may have something going on in their life that seems like mass destructive, we seem to, like we want to be there because we want to put out the lifeline to Amen. say, hey, wait, this is the way back. Amen. Right? Praise God. And Praise it's God. important that we understand that. Amen. 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 This is going to be slow going through this tonight. I have so many scriptures. Therefore, we do not need to have church. We need to be the church. Amen. The church is the body of Christ. Literally. We have been bought with a precious, precious blood by, by Jesus Christ. We are baptized into the precious body by His Spirit through the Holy Ghost. 
And all of us have a place in the body. Yes, we do. Every one of us. Everyone. However, when one of us fails or hurts, we do not rejoice. This is not competition. Amen. Amen. Good. And so in saying that, there are some scriptures I'm going to go into. We need to care for one another, build each other up, and help each other to accomplish the goals that are set before us. Like, if I see something in your life, and I, I look at you, and I say, wow, I see this gift and talent, I, you might feel that prodding, you know, I'm going to start coming up to you, and I'm going to start, hey, you know, <coughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Hey, don't be afraid. Hi, you can do it. You can sure. do it. And it's not because I like to be a bug that crawls on the floor that you want to just oh, put wow. your foot on and squash. I want to be the bug that gets under your foot and goes, bam! Yeah. Hey, you can do this. Hallelujah. Right? Right? Sure. Right? Sure. And that's what we want to do with each other. If you see something in a brother or sister that you, you can see that talent or gift, Promote it. Don't oh, if you God. if you don't have the same gift and talent, don't go over there and demote them. Well, you know, I don't really think that you can sing. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I agree. No, but you know what I'm saying? I, I think that God's got a different calling on your life. No. Build that gift up for them. Sure. Help How them. Sure. Help them because while you're helping to build their gift, God is going to help you. Amen. Yes, yes. When you give, you can't out give God. Amen. 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 So I think it's important. Yes. So the scriptures that I want to just go into tonight. Can somebody find Proverbs 14 and 30? Thought I had gum in my mouth, but I don't. Proverbs 14 and 30. Where is our Bible quizzer? We need to have Bible Bible sure. 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 Be, Time's up. Okay, next scripture. No, just kidding. Proverbs 14.30. I know you have it right over here. I can see it. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Wait, can you read that again? Loud? A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. So when we envy somebody, it is a rottenness to the bone. That's pretty strong, eh? All right, can we find Galatians 6 and 4, someone? Galatians 6 and 4, just read it if you have it. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, but not in another. So rejoicing in what? In himself. Right. And? And not in another. And not in another. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank you, Jesus. So when we do this walk, we must understand our own time and not walk over. Like, this is something I have seen so many times in my journey that I have seen someone else stepping on someone else. Wow. To, they want to use somebody to be their stepping stone to get to where they're going. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mm. We can't have that. Amen. No, we, we can't do that. Amen. Amen. So Mark 7, 21 to 22. Mark 7, 21 to 22. Mark 7, 21 to 22. How about over uh, this table over here? Tim, do you have that? For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murderers, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceitful, lavishness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these... Things come from within and defile the man. That's wow, I had, that I had one is a loaded pistol right there. That has got so much ammunition in it about the inner man right there. Amen. And that one really, really speaks to my heart about what God is looking inside for us not to be. Amen. This is all the works of the flesh sure. right there. 
right? Amen. Thank you for reading that. Job 5 and 2. You say, why are we reading all these scriptures? Because I think it's important that we understand for us to go forward because what's going to happen is we're going to be shifting as the vision comes forward. We're going to be shifting and then when it comes time to step into that time of shifting and people are going to step into what God's calling them to do, then sometimes the, the jealousy starts to rise up. And we've got to nip it in the bud now so Amen. we understand, no, we can't allow that type of spirit to go Amen. forward. We can't do that. Amen. So Job 5 and 2, someone? So envious again. There is the ending again. Right? James 3, 14 to 16. James 3, 14 to 16 in New Testament. Somebody have it? Read it. 14 to 16. But if you harbor a bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but it's earthly, unspiritual, demonic, yeah. where you have envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder and every evil practice. Wow. So did you see it says bitter envy, strife in your heart, glory, not, and lying, and, and not against the truth in verse 14. Then when I go to 16, wherefore envying and strife is, there is confusion. <coughs> That's what happens. And then evil work. It brings confusion in the body. And then it brings evil works yes. in the body. Okay? Yeah. So that's a very strong scripture, isn't it? Yes. All right. Proverbs 23, 17 to 18. Proverbs 23, 17, 18. You have it? Read it. Let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. And for surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. All right. Now I'm just going to give you some of these scriptures to write down for you to when you have a time in your own study time that you will look these up. James 3, did I just give you that? James 3, 14, 16? Yeah. Galatians 5, 19 to 21. 1 Corinthians 13, 4. First Peter 2, 1 to 2. So let's look at the Old Testament structure, and we're going to go back and look at how they had put the structure together. Deuteronomy 1, 9 to 18. So I'm just going to read a kind of an oversight of those scriptures. And I spake unto you at this time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. Amen. The Lord your God has multiplied you. So look at all, all the sentences here. And behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for a multitude. Yes. The Lord God of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are, and bless you, and he had promised you. Praise God. How can I myself alone bear your cumbrance, and your burden, and your strife? Yes. Like, how can I do it alone? How can I do this alone? Yes. Right? Yes. Take you wise men and understanding and known among your tribes. So do you see the word tribes? Yes. The groups? Yes. Okay. And I will make them rulers over you. 
And he answered me and said, The thing which thou hast spoken is good for us to do so. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made them head over you. Captains over a thousand. Okay, so here, here's how it's broken down. All right, so we've got captains over a thousand. We've got captains over a hundred. We've got captains over fifties and captains over tens and officers among your tribes. Do you see? So there is order and structure within the body of Christ. Amen. And I charge you judges at this time saying, hear the cause between your brethren and judge righteously between every man and his brother and the stranger that he is with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is God's. And the cause is too hard for you. Bring it unto me, and I will hear it. Yes. Did you hear that? And I command you at this time all things which ye shall do. Amen. Amen. So there, there is a, there's an order. Like when you read Genesis, starting at Genesis, it was God first. Yes. Right? And then from God, then it was man. And then from man, it was woman. And then after the woman, their children came along. And then after the children, they designed the church. They put a structure out, and there was a church. So there is an order. Yes. And if we stay in the order of what God is leading us to do, then we will stay going forward. Praise God. Amen. That's how it works. Amen. God will bless order. Praise God. God will bless structure yes. of when we do it his way and not our way. Hallelujah. God blesses that. Yes. Amen? Amen. So the Old Testament structure was Moses, then it was two burden barriers, then remember we talked about the right hand and the left hand, Joshua and Aaron. Then what, what, who was after that? The 70 elders were after that. And then comp, comp, comprised of the 12 princes and the officers and some of the judges, and then 12 princes and officers. Yes. Then captains, judges over a thousand, captain, judges over a hundred, <coughs> oh, captain over fifty, captain over a ten. So we can see how God put that in order. Praise Revelation 19, 11 to 16, it says, and I always believe in reading scripture because I believe that when you read the word of God and read scripture over what we are teaching, that God's word will not turn void. Praise God. I believe that 100%, Amen. and I believe that is the recipe that works. Hallelujah. And I saw heaven open, behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon it was called Faithful and True and Righteous. This he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as flames of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. Yeah. But he himself, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him. Wait, Hallelujah. did you hear that? Yes. And the armies which were in heaven followed him Hallelujah. upon white horses. So when that time comes, and we are in end time, can you imagine Jesus on the horse and we decide we're going to get on our galloping horses and we're riding behind him and then all of a sudden in the last of the Armageddon we say oh Lord I don't want to ride with you I'm going to go over here imagine yeah. imagine yeah. I know but really it's a good way to think right. about that Amen. it's a good way to view oh. about the importance of structure Amen. Amen. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses and clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, and with all that he would smite the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth with winepress and fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his, hot, his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. Amen. Amen. So the description of the great commander won by the seat of his empire is known as that is heaven. His throne is there. His power, his authority are heavenly and divine. That's yes. number one. Praise God. 
Number two is the equip his equipage. He is again described as sitting on a white horse to show the equality of the cause and the certainty of success. Hallelujah. I think that's really important. Yes. For us to have success in God's kingdom to do and take this city, Praise we God. must have order and structure. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay? Amen. Number three, his attributes. He is faithful and true to his covenant and his promise. He is righteous in all his jurisdictical, jurisdict, jurisdict, uh, jurisdiction. Yep. Okay. Ever have that moment? <laughs> yeah. And military proceedings. He has a penetrating insight to all the strength and of his enemies, and has a large, extensive dominion, many crowns for his king of kings and lord of lords. Mm -hmm. Number four, his armor that is a vesture dipped in blood, either by his own or by what he purchased, yes. this power of the blood of his enemy, over his enemies and over whom he has always prevailed. Yeah. And number five was his name. Hallelujah. The word of God, a name that was known by himself, only this we know, that the word of God manifest in the flesh, which we know is in John 1 and 1 and 1 and 14, but his perfections are incomprehensible Amen. by any, any creature. Amen. Amen? Amen. I know this may seem boring, some of this, but again, we're at the end of this part here. And we've been training for months to go forward. Amen. So we must pre be prepared, totally equipped Hallelujah. to go forward. Amen. 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 The army which he commanded, a very large one made up of many armies, angels and saints, followed <coughs> his conduct and resembled him in their equipage Hallelujah. and in their armor of purity and righteous, chosen and called and faithful. Hallelujah. The weapons of warfare, a sharp sword, Proceeding from his mouth, which is in verse 15, with which he smites the nation. So look how we can execute the weapons of warfare Praise when God. we are going in the same direction. Amen. The body of Christ is functioning together. Amen. Right? Amen. God will give us the weapons of warfare that Hallelujah. we need, and they will be sharp. And it will pierce the enemy in front of us. Amen? Amen. He smites the nation, either threatening of the written word, which is now he is going to execute, or rather his word of command, calling on his followers, who? His followers, to take a just revenge, yes. and on their enemies, who are now put up into winepress of the wrath of God, to be trodden under his foot. And number six, the end signs of his authority, his coat of arms. A name written on his vesture and his thigh. King of kings. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord of lords. Amen. Asserting his authority and power and cause in the, of the quarrel. Verse 16. You will notice that his armies follow him. Mm. Praise God. Yes. Did you notice that? Amen. They're following Christ. Hallelujah. And that's what we want to do. Is We want to follow him and follow his Thank instructions. Without organization or order, structure cannot be achieved. Amen. If a system relies on efficiency and order to function, and then these are not achieved, echoes will prevail and the system will break down. The importance can be immeasurable to the success of any group attempting to function towards a single goal. So you think of, um, you know, uh, uh, again, like, I don't like to use that type of, I, I, you know, I can go to Stalin and I can go to Hitler and you think about that type of dictatorship and control. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to show you something. It may seem like there was control, mm -hmm. uh, leadership, and they knew what they're doing. But look at the result sure. in the end. Amen. What happened? <clears throat> It was a severe train wreck that happened, and many lives faced mass destruction over that. Amen. Because of that type of leadership. But that is not what is here. I'm, I'm just Hallelujah. telling you, 
Again, I am very, very, I am so, so, no one has to put me up here like some dumb puppet and say, this is what she's been trained to say or do. No. I've been, I've gone through leadership and leadership and leadership in my life. Mm. And I can, I can discern a leadership. Sure, amen. And where I am right now, I have discerned a very sound leadership of where I'm under. And I am so thankful. Hallelujah. I hunger and thirst, thirst for righteousness. Hallelujah. I do. I hunger for that. I hunger you, to Jesus. see growth. I hunger to Hallelujah. see people yes. come out of their shells and to yes. see God use yes. them and to go Thank forward you, and see the body of Christ be effectively Hallelujah. working together Amen. and to Thank see you, an army of troops rise Jesus. up and go Thank in you. and take what Hallelujah. is promised to them. Amen. And that's where we're at. Amen. 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 What does it mean? When the Bible said you'll know them by their fruit. What does that mean? What does that mean? Anybody know the answer to that? We're supposed to be fruit inspectors? Pardon? <laughs> fruit inspectors? No. What does that mean? You'll they'll know them by their fruit. Oh. We will be more like Christ. We will start to show the signs of, you know, peace. Oh, yeah. Joy. Yeah. The fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. The spirit, yeah, the fruit of the Spirit. The spirit. Yeah. But not only that, knowing but we're going to be known by our fruit, let me give you a breakdown of what that interpretation means. It means, so if I'm an apple tree, I want to reproduce apples, which means... If I do not have effective seed in me, righteous seed that's going forth in my apple tree, my apple tree is going to die and the fruit's not going to bear. What is the fruit? Well, the fruit in me is to bear other fruit, and that's yes. souls. Praise God. They are known by their Hallelujah. fruit. So the fruit in me is going to produce fruit. Sure. That's what's going to happen. My fruit in me is going to produce and win souls. Right. Sure. Okay. Hallelujah. Does that make sense? Sure. Amen? Amen. Now I'm sure my pastor can expand on that. But I'm just going to say that part in my life hit me years ago about oh, yes. being fruit fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah. Be fruitful and multiply. Hallelujah. Do not stay stagnant. Oh, praise God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. You will notice that the army, sorry, yes. You will notice that his army is following him. This is a very important fact. According to United States Army, one army is around 100,000 soldiers and officers. The Lord has armies. In other words, the Lord has a set order. He is very organized, and everyone has a place. Praise the Lord. Imagine Praise the Lord. that. Amen. 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 Why is structure so important? Question mark. Without organization, order, and structure... We cannot achieve, and if the system relies on efficiency in order to function, then these are not achieved. They, it is going to cause a serious breakdown, right? Amen. So in Ephesians, Hallelujah. and can I say this tonight? Oh, we are not a business. Amen. Amen. We are not some profit business. The church is not a business. We Amen. are not here to make a profit. Amen. That is not what the church is about. We are not in the temple because Jesus, when they came in, the money changers, and they came in to do their buying and selling in the temple, the tables were overturned because of that. This is not a house to bring in to make a business. Do you understand what I mean by that? Now, I know we sell uh, cookies and muffins and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm talking about. That is to help our youth to have things that we need because we have a department and we have to bring some resource somehow to bring that into our youth. That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, literally making this, like, I, there was a church that, in an area somewhere in the world that we were, went into one time, and they started out with the right, the right mindset. 
But because there was no organization in the leadership of what should be biblically done, sure. what God wanted to happen, what happened was they ended up bringing in line dancing in the church. They ended up bringing in um, uh, the pool, the pool table. You say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, just hear me out. So they brought the pool table in. The next thing you knew, they brought in a bar and set it up. Then they decided to open a restaurant and made it for a public business. Then they had people were donating clothes and all their stuff to the church free. And then what, instead of giving it free, what they did is they set it up and made it into a big business. They had a great big hall in the church that was out back. And they had all kinds of stuff in there. And then they were getting all the revenue from that. Wow. Now, I don't know, but I know that books are publicly through charitable organization. That's a public reading. And I remember going in and reading that. Hallelujah. I read their minutes. Hallelujah. Right. Of the, the the dollars, and I remember reading the parts of where they said that they gave in certain offerings to all these places across the world, and da 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 da, -da and they supported. And what had happened was it it literally came out in the public that when the books were scrutinized, somebody said something about it, and the books were scrutinized, that is not what happened. Wow. They were just putting in more than pocket change. <laughs> yeah. And they were driving around in big, fancy vehicles and all kinds of things. This is not a business. Amen. This is the kingdom Hallelujah. of God. We are Amen. here for kingdom-minded reasons. Amen. 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 That's what God has called us to do. Ephesians 4, 11 to 16. And he gave some apostles, some prophets. So here, here is what's in our body here. He gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying, what? Of the body of Christ. Amen. Why? Till we all come in the unity of the faith and the knowledge Thank of the you. Son of God, unto, the per unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature and the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine. Amen. Amen. We must be careful of all the winds of doctrine out there. Amen. Amen. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Sure. We, if we stick to the word and the direction Hallelujah. that God's going, we'll, we'll discern what's truth and what's not Amen. right Amen. away. Amen. Okay? That henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine by the slay of men and cunning craftiness. Look at that. Whereby they lie and wait to deceive. Yes, yes. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the body that joint together and compacted by which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself, what? In love. In love. Amen. Hallelujah. All right? Hallelujah. So we are the structure. The church of God getting organized become, to become the army that God desires us to be. To what? To win the battles through him. To see the victories won. And to see the kingdom Hallelujah. increased Amen. in this place. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And I'm not going to go any further. Simply because of time's sake. It's a, it's a very heavy part. And I may not finish this part next week. Because I think that... You know, there is a bat tonight, and a ball come up in the air, and we hit the bat out, and I believe that I feel there was a home run hit Hallelujah. here in this place because it was received. The word was received tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Could we just worship the Lord just for a moment? Yes. Thank you, Hallelujah. Could we just give him some praise just for a Thank moment? You, Hallelujah. 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 Before we go any farther, can we just give him some praise in the house right now? 